It's a nice chilly day in Flagstaff. And I'm gonna go over the gear that I brought on the Black Canyon Trail. This is the gear I would take on a colder trip, so a bit heavier than normal, and I carried more water than normal. A great setup for anyone who is just getting into lighter gear or doing some desert winter backpacking. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So this is the Gossamer Gear Gorilla. It comes with a sit pad. I took that out and I replaced it with the Nightlight, which is also Gossamer Gear. It's not super easy to get in here. Um, this is like three times as thick as the normal sit pad that fits in there, so it, you kind of have to finagle it. It's just a torso length pad. I've been using this since the Florida Trail and I really love it. When I put it in my frameless Palante, it acts as like the back frame. As far as the pack, I added on this uh, shoulder strap pocket. For some reason this one, I found it like harder to get secure. Another thing that I was adjusting back to was having a hip belt. I like having the fanny pack, but not with hip belt pockets. It's just too much going on. I was just carrying a camera on this trip that I wanted to carry in my fanny pack. I definitely felt a little bit dorky having <laughs> the shoulder strap pocket, fanny pack, and two hip belt pockets, like all just full. First I'll go over the clothes that I wore on the trip. These are new. The Montbell chemise gloves and the chemise hat. I really like these. I've had a problem with lots of hats in the past. I have really thick hair so that just kind of like makes everything just end up coming off of my head. Um, but this has the little like ear, ear pads that go over your ears and it really kept it secure. Also, I'm wearing it right now, the Outdoor Research Echo Sun Hoodie. It has these cuffs that go over your hands if you're cold or you just want sun protection over your hands. It has a ponytail hole in the hood. It snags super easily, so easily. Because of the Velcro, on this shoulder strap pocket, it was pulling on the sun hoodie every time I put my pack on, and it is just destroyed on that side. I also brought this Abgear Co. Alpaca hoodie. I wasn't planning on bringing this, but the day I started was so cold when I got dropped off that I just couldn't take it off, and I was like, I have the bigger pack, might as well bring another layer. I was wearing shorts. These are Outdoor Voices. These are actually some of my favorite shorts, so I don't think I would bring them on a through hike because I've done that before where I brought shorts I really liked on a through hike and they got so ruined that I could never use them again. I brought a pair of REI synthetic underwear. I just brought this sports bra. It's fine. I brought two pairs of socks. The Injinjis. There's some question as to the durability of them. I wore these shoes. These are the Topo Ultra Ventures. Yes, they really seem to work for me, even though I have a lot of foot problems. I'll just keep going through what's on the outside of my pack. This is another new item. I got the Enlightened Equipment Copperfield Wind Pants. These are the women's medium. It's nice to have another layer just for how light they are. They're definitely not fashionable. I wore them when I went into Rock Springs, the, the pie place on the Black Canyon Trail and everyone was looking at me funny. The lady I bought pie from asked me if I was going skiing. You might get some weird looks, but who cares um, if it's keeping you warm. Baseball cap. I usually wear a like sun hat, but since I've been getting into sun hoodies, using the hood with that kind of hat doesn't really work. So just use a baseball cap so you can put up the hood over the back of it and get like the neck protection that way. Got my trowel and usually keep some toilet paper in there. Here's my rain jacket. I've been using this since the Florida Trail. It's the Montbell Versalite and I freaking love this thing. Okay, so let's get into the shelter. This is the Gossamer Gear The One. 
It is a trekking pole tent. Um, I usually don't use the stuff sack. I just did that so it wouldn't be like a huge mess, but now it's actually kind of nice to have it all tidy, so maybe I should start using it. This is an older version, I think from 2019. 2018, 2018. It's a little bit heavier than their current version. I think they cut off somehow, they cut off seven ounces. I'm kind of bummed I have this version and not the new version. It's a great weight for the price. I have 10 stakes. These are big Agnes. I also brought the Polycro footprint. Is that the right word? I forgot to cut this one in half, so it's a bit bulkier than it needs to be. I like having this just to protect the bottom of the tent a little bit and just to have versatility for cowboy camping. I never cowboy camp, but I just like knowing that I could and spoon. I brought a stove this trip because it was um, so cold and I'm really glad I did. It was really nice to have a warm meal at the end of the day. I have the Tokes 650 milliliter and the BRS and a little mini bank with it. My puppy. So this is the Enlightened Equipment Torrid. In the past I've used the um, a Mont Bell down jacket. I do really like that. It's about the same weight as this, but this seems a little bit warmer. It doesn't pack down as much, but I feel like it has more versatility and that I'm not afraid to hike in it because it's not down. I like this thing. And this is my pillow that I would stuff this into. It's a stuff sack by Hyperlite. They're a small pillow stuff sack. And I have my second pair of socks. These are Farm Defeat. They're my favorite brand of socks. Also, since I am a cold sleeper, I have these Enlightened Equipment uh, Torrid Booties. I used to use just wool socks for my sleep socks. And it's pretty cold out here, so my hands are cold and these are actually helping a lot. These are great, really light, lighter than wool socks. So I think I'll keep these in my kit year-round, always. And I think last piece of clothing. I've been using these forever. They're Terramar brand, um, just synthetic legging base layer. This is my bag of random stuff. I have my bamboo toothbrush that's cut in half, toothpaste, the Nightcore NB10000 uh, power bank, this is maybe the lightest power bank um, for the milliamp hours that it has. USB-C so I can charge my phone from that. This is my first aid kit. We have some moleskin. We have alcohol pads, band-aids, needle and thread. I have a little toothpick, earplugs, safety pin, uh, ibuprofen. Luco tape, tweezers, Benadryl, that's all that's in there. It's getting cold. Next is the Enlightened Equipment Enigma. And this is the zero degree. I had had the Revelation in the past. That's the one that has the, the foot box that you can open. This might be overkill. It, I did get the 950 uh, fill power down, so it packs down a little bit more. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it to fit into the Palante. I guess I could use a compression sack, but it seems definitely bigger. I got the, what is this called? Baffle, what is it called? draft color. I just wanted a really warm quilt that was lighter. I have just a trash compactor bag to line the inside. Probably didn't need it on this trip because it didn't rain, but you never know. Okay, I brought four liters of water capacity. So just smart water, well I think this is life water, but just plastic water bottles and a one and a half liter capacity ever new bag and sort of squeeze. I forgot that I had found someone's glove on the trail and just found that now. Okay. Leave no trace, folks. Okay. These are the trekking poles that I brought. These are Fizon. They're aluminum and I think 
They say like they're the world's lightest aluminum poles. I have been using them for a while. I like them for the most part. I really like the clip closures for trekking poles, but these are the spinning ones. Another thing is that I put my hands in here on other trekking poles, you can tighten it and then kind of lock it in place so that it doesn't get looser and looser as you're hiking. But these, you can like sort of lock it, but it, it doesn't stay. So these just always get loose and I'm constantly readjusting. So that's kind of annoying. Let's see, so phone, Samsung S21 Ultra. It's pretty heavy phone, but it has such good cameras and I've been filming a lot on this. I brought some sunglasses just with a little microfiber case and I also used this for my camera. Uh, these are Nectar brand. In one of my hip belt pockets, I had some chafe cream. This is a local Flagstaff company, shout out. Just some face sunscreen body sunscreen, and hand sanitizer. Normally I would keep stuff like this in my fanny pack, but I didn't want to have like everything in my fanny pack if I had the hip belts. And since I was like pulling my camera in and out of my fanny pack so much, it just made more sense to have less in there so that it would be easier to get to it. I think the last thing, cooler cloth with a little carabiner. Oh, I'm getting cold. I think that's everything in the pack. Um, so I'm gonna go over what was in the fanny pack. This is the newer Hytale designs. I have the previous one, but that's a lot smaller. So this is the bigger version uh, because I need more space for camera and such. Um, and it has this back pocket. It has um, a little inside pocket as well. So inside, in the inside pocket, I have just plastic bags um, in case it rains. I have a um, plastic bag with ID, um, cards, mask, hair tie. I have linolen, chapstick with sunscreen in it, very important in the desert. Here's my uh, camera that I was trying out on this trip. This is the Sony ZV-1, and I have the Ultrapod tripod. It's really small and light and fun. I haven't fully looked through the footage from the trip yet, so we'll see how that looks and um, see if this is something I can continue to take on trips. It's really nice. I was pretty happy with it. I brought three extra batteries because I wasn't sure how fast it would go through. I wore this Casio watch. My headlamp is the Nightcore, I think it's NU25. Love this thing. A Swiss Army knife. I think that's pretty much it. That's my fanny pack. Things I didn't like. I didn't like having fanny pack with the hip belt. I was carrying 10 pounds of water, so this pack wasn't comfortable. That's not necessarily the fault of the pack. If I had to do a like desert trip like this again where I absolutely had to carry like four liters of water or more maybe I would try out a more robust pack because I think that would be more comfortable but if it's not necessary to do that I want to you know keep getting better at the ultralight side of things the in-between I found like with these gossamer gear packs just doesn't seem to work for me any extra weight beyond like what I'm carrying in the Palante is just insanely uncomfortable in, in these packs where it would be like very comfortable in an Osprey or ULA. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that was helpful in some way. Since this is a really new channel, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm hoping to do another video that will go over my, my more ultralight setup like what I brought on the long trail in September of last year. So look for that. And also, since I did film on the Black Canyon Trail, I'm gonna be putting together a video of that and hopefully a video like trip guide for people who wanna hike it. I want anyone who researches it in the future to have more information than I had so that they don't have to carry so much water maybe. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Have fun out there. Get outside, leave no trace. 
It's cold. <laughs>